Hello everyone. Welcome to Legit Quest. This video will be presenting the iSearch feature of Legit Quest and how to use it. iSearch is a tool that allows you to find case laws and read the full text and it is freely available for use. You're now looking at the home screen of Legit Quest. You can see the search bar over here. Here you can see different search options are available for you to make research. For instance, if you want to use the citation of the case law, you simply need to click here. Format of how citation needs to be put in are already given here for your reference. Similarly, you can use the judge name, party name, act name and bare act search options to arrive at case laws. You can also use the all option, which is the free text option with advanced research options of search. For instance, you can use the plus sign between your words to find documents containing all connected terms. Similarly, you can use the minus sign to exclude documents. You can also use W slash pound sign to find documents which have terms within a given proximity of each other. Similarly, you can see there are various other search techniques for you to make research. The next that follows is the tour guide to take you through different options and features. Suppose you want to make a research on condonation of delay. You simply need to key it in here and click on the search button. The system automatically shows you the most relevant search results, but you can sort them by using the newest or the oldest sorting option. As you can see, there are 38633 results for query condonation of delay. You can narrow this down further by using the filter within result option. So if there is a word or phrase that you want to find in these judgments, you simply have to key it in here and click on the search button and only those judgments with that word or phrase will be visible to you. You can now see we have come down to 597 results from 38633. You can also use the search within case option, which saves your precious time because you can look for words or phrases within judgments without opening the full text of the judgment. Suppose you want to know if the word limitation figures in the judgment. You simply have to type it here and click on search. You can see that limitation figures in five places in this judgment. You can also filter your search result based on your court, bench, year or dispositions and idraf. Disposition is a valuable search filter which allows you to see judgment based on the final outcome. That is whether the petition was allowed dismissed or remitted back. Suppose you want to know only those judgments where the petition was allowed. You need to click here and those search results will be visible to you. iDraft is one of the most useful filter. It will give you the cases based on issues, facts, arguments and other options here. For instance, you want to see only those cases where condonation of delay appears in the reasoning of the judgments. You simply have to click here and see the relevant search results. Similarly, if you have a time bracket in mind, say from 2000 to 2009, you need to click here and the system will take you to those judgments. You can also use the bench strength to make research. Suppose you want results for three judge bench decisions. You need to click here and you will arrive at relevant search results. In order to see the full text of the judgment, you simply need to click on the course title and the system will take you to the full text which opens in a new window. You can now read the text here. Thank you for watching.